Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I am a glutton for punishment. Um, I'm going to try to give Vista another stab. Uh, I went back to the drive that had Vista on it and it did a fresh install of Vista and then a fresh install of the first beta of Service Pack 1. My initial impressions is, wow, even more software incompatibilities. I kid you not. Um, anyway, uh, one of the things I needed to do was set an automatic login since I'm the only person who happens to be using this machine. I don't need to type in a password every time uh, I restart the machine. So I went to Google and I typed in auto login Vista and lo and behold the first or second link happens to be from Locker Gnome, which of course is our blogging network which anybody can join. We're working on improving that with better themes and features. Uh, but anyway I went there and I'm like wow we've already kind of written about it. It starts out inside of Vista by opening up this utility, and uh, I'll should tell you how to do it. You can you can go about it a variety of ways. It's basically getting to a, a separate part of the user account control panel. But to get there, uh, you can go to the start search pane inside of Vista. Type in N E T P L W I Z Net Pull Wiz. I don't know how you pronounce that. Netpool is, I believe it's the network policy wizard. If I were to think of, uh, I guess, what that is likely short for. Uh, in in this particular uh, dialogue that pops up, the first thing you do is take the check mark out of users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Once the check mark is removed from that field, just make sure that uh, you've uh, you, your name uh, has been has a password set. Once you've set that password for your name, then uh, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, then you don't have to worry about uh, logging in every time you reboot Vista. So again, uh, net pull whiz in the uh, start search field in the start menu. Uh, take the uh, check mark out of the users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Provide the password for your user account when prompted, then restart your computer, and uh, you should uh, fly right through it. You don't need to restart right away. I'm just saying that you restart your computer, and then you won't have to log in the next time you restart your computer. That's at least the simplest way that I know how to do it, since, unfortunately, Microsoft has not uh, developed Tweak UI for Vista. Someone else developed Tweak VI, but it's not free, and I don't know if it's really worth the money for registration or not. I don't know if anybody's used that. Um, anyway, so that's a, a tip for configuring Vista for an automatic logon procedure. Uh, I know I'm crazy for trying Vista again, and I, I'm i really, this is a, uh, I'm not going to be on it for very long, I don't think. Uh, I still think Leopard is uh, going to be the way to go for me. Uh, moving forward. So if this is just an interim thing, pay no attention to the man in front of the red curtains. Uh, if you have anything to say about Windows Vista, maybe some tips or tricks that uh, I might need to know about or anybody else might need to know about. Don't know if that's going to make me want to stick with Windows for too much longer, but regardless, leave a comment, follow up remark, and of course you're welcome to swing by the chat room as well. I know plenty of you are having uh, problems, uh, some of you aren't, but I know a few of you have tips and tricks that are related to Vista, so swing by the chat room. Uh, let us know what you're thinking. Join the community. Uh, i got fun stuff going on all the time. When we hit 200 reviews on iTunes for our podcast, then I'm giving away a Nintendo DS. Of course, in a few more days, we'll be giving away the computer. Uh, since we've uh, reached 10,000 YouTube subscribers, I'm happy to report that. And I might also be giving away an Xbox. Might. Can't promise anything, but I might be giving away an Xbox. Stay tuned for that. Let's get get rid of the other giveaways first, and the, then we'll talk about that stuff moving forward. Anyway, leave a comment, remark, follow up about whatever, <laughs> and then swing by the chat room. The URL where you need to go to talk with us live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.